Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with yet another sub configuration, and it's on the MCW 6.8. It's a weapon that I don't usually use, but I was teamed up with Didymus, one of the good friends of the channel, and he said that he could provide an MCW 6.8 configuration that gives you a bullet velocity of 2,000 meters per second. And before we get into that, let's make our heads hurt for just a second. What does bullet velocity do for us? Well, it's tied to the hit scan range since we have a hybrid system. Partially hit scan, partially bullet travel, bullet drop, and we compute how long it takes for a bullet to get to the target and gack your enemy. The hit scan range is how far a bullet travels in 50 milliseconds. So if we're at 2,000 meters per second bullet velocity, then the hit scan range is going to be 100 meters. 10%, one tenth, or 100 milliseconds would be 200 meters, 50 milliseconds. Cut that in half, and you have 100 meters. So 100 meters, your bullet will act like a hit scan if the enemy is standing there or inside of there. So what does that do for us? Well, let's let's take a quick look at the statistics for the Bear MCW 6.8 versus the. Did 2000 Didymus's configuration, and I did modify the configuration a little, but I kept the bullet velocity at 2000 meters per second. On the Bear MCW 6.8, no modifications at all. On the Bear MCW 6.8, you have a bullet velocity of 930 meters per second. That gives you about 46 and a half meters as your hit scan range. On Didymus's configuration, you can see in the chart there, the bullet velocity is right around 2,000 meters per second, which gives us a hit scan range of 100 meters. What does that translate in terms of damage potential? Well, the effective damage range of the Bear MCW is 40 meters, 40 and a half meters. So really, if you're within the effective damage range, which is pretty far out there, all of your shots will be hit scan. And two shots, if you get one to the head, you can gack the enemy in less than 200 milliseconds, which is a really fast time. If we switch to the DID 2000 configuration, then the range goes up to about 50 meters. Everything inside 50 meters is going to be a hit scan. In fact, everything inside 100 meters will be a hit scan. So you gain about 10 meters of hit scan if you get one in the head out to 50 meters, one in the body. What does that mean to us? Well, the effective damage range, take a look at the chart, of the bare bones MCW 6.8 is 40.6 meters. The bullet velocity is 930 meters per second, which gives us about 46 and a half meters as our hit scan range. And that means anything inside the 40.6 meters is going to be a hit scan shot, meaning if you get one in the torso, one in the head, you're going to gack the enemy at a very fast, roughly 166 milliseconds, which is a good time in this game. If we go to the DID 2000 configuration, the effective damage range goes out to about 50 meters and the hit scan range like we've already said is about a hundred meters so that you're going to get that 166 millisecond time to kill if you're within 50 meters and you get a head shot and an upper torso shot so you gain about 10 meters does that mean a lot to me well probably not since i mostly play on the small map mosh pit although there are some ranges now on a derailment on some of the other maps that this could make a difference between getting a kill and buying the farm yourself. So let's take a look at the DID 2000 configuration. And I, like I said, I changed it up a little bit. I used no optic and opted for the Jack Cutthroat stock. But here's did the DID 2000. First, the Choreo Eagle 2.5, and that gives us an optic. And that optic may be important if you're playing on the longer maps and you want to get that hit scan out to 100 meters. The 30 round mag, you can see that it impacts mobility, it impacts handling. ADS movement speed is 1.9 meters per second. Keep that number in your mind as we go to the configuration that I actually 
traditionally used. The 6.8 Wraith Spire point rounds, and that increased the bullet velocity by 50%. So you've already gone from around 900 up to add 450, about 1350, just by using that attachment, that ammo attachment. The Nilsound 90 silencer, that increased us by about 18%. Effective damage range was down just a little bit, but it impacts the ADS speed at 350 milliseconds. The Tempest Predator Precision Barrel, that increases the bullet velocity by 27%, giving us the 2,000 or roughly 2,100 meters per second. So you can go out beyond 100 meters for your hit scan range. Now let's take a look at my quick modifications. I got rid of the 30 round mag and what that did for me is that gave me a reload quickness of 2.5 seconds which is very very quick. Faster than some SMGs, definitely faster than some ARs but I only have a 10 round magazine at that point but now my ADS movement speed is at 2 meters per second. I added the paracord grip. That gave me a 2.2 meters per second ADS movement speed and it increased or decreased my sprint to fire speed to 192 milliseconds. And then finally with the stock, I put the jack cutthroat, one of my favorites. The jack cutthroat increases movement speed to 2.9 meters per second. Now I can get out of people's way. I'm a harder target to hit. So let's take this configuration into the shooting range and see how it does. Okay, I didn't hit the head, so it's a three-shot kill. But if I get one head shot, one body shot, it's a two-shot kill. See if I can do it out to a distance. One head, one body, it's a two-shot kill. So that's 166 millisecond kill if you're pulling the trigger a lot faster than how Grandpa just pulled it. And speaking of pulling the trigger, let's go out to the field of honor with Grandpa See how the DID 2000 with slight modifications did for Grandpa. See what it did to his sometimes friendly enemies and how fast Grandpa can pull the trigger. Let's go. All right, let's get ready to rumble. Now, you guys can probably figure out by now that on this map, whether you have the DID 2000 configuration or not, with the 930 meters per second bullet velocity on the bare bones version every shot's going to be a hit scan so basically a hit scan by the way means the same as a point blank shot so i could be standing next to somebody an enemy like that wolf man or the guy that's still wearing the santa claus hat carrying the hammer that guy I could stand next to somebody, pull the trigger at zero meters, or pull the trigger at 100 meters with the DID 2000 configuration. Bullet travel, bullet drop will be exactly the same. So it would appear that you don't really need much of a configuration to get hit scan on a small map, and that would be true. So this is for use in larger maps. Maybe some of your would take this into war zone or invasion or something like that the dmz whatever those big maps are i don't i don't usually play those games so i'm not familiar with the nomenclature and the other thing to keep in mind too is just because let's say somebody's 70 meters out just because with the did 2000 i put three rounds at the enemy and they're all hit scan it doesn't mean that the damage is the same as at the minimum damage range, okay, or the effective damage range. So if it goes out to 40.6 meters like it does for the bare bones, if I go to 50 meters, I will be getting less damage on the shot. The same way with the DID 2000 configuration, since the hit scan range is 100 meters, if I hit somebody at 70 meters, it, yay verily, it will be a hit scan, yes. But since the damage range, the effective damage range is about 50 meters, 
the bullet will be less effective out that far. It'll get there faster, and the time to kill should theoretically be a lot faster if everything's going to be a hit scan. There's the guy with the with the hammer. Doesn't it just make you feel good to gack somebody with a nose breaker when they're coming at you with a hammer? There he is. We got him in the back. So, really, the gameplay here would apply equally to a bare bones MCW 6.8. Having said that, let's have a look at it. Now, Didymus put the scope on it because he anticipates further ranges. Also, he plays a lot of hardcore. And you hardcore players take note on the long ranges, on the bigger maps. This thing's a hit scan out to 100 meters. Very likely, it's going to be a one-shot kill to infinity. Whoa. And so you... Warzone players also take note with the longer ranges. You don't have to worry about leading the enemy as long as they're inside 100 meters to get a hit on them. That could be a game changer. It really could. You can see that the mobility is excellent with this weapon. And thought I got the last kill, but it didn't show up as the last kill. Grandpa was happy the first time he took that thing out for a test flight. Got gacked a few times, but you can expect it if you're rushing around. Now, speaking about getting gacked a few times in short distances, Das House, like I always say, should be Charnel House. Grandpa killed a cat. Don't turn me into ASPCA there. I think the cat was Elvis most of the game. And I will always go and soak on the hard point because I like to win. And so does that average terrorist enemy who just put one in Grandpa's teeth. I think the movement, the paracord, underbarrel, the jack stock, the jack cutthroat stock, there's the cat again. Help Grandpa win a lot of these engagements. And there's somebody just a Muppet. Your average Muppet shooting cartoons and gacking people. Grandpa buys the farm. So I think, yeah, the exclusive ace put out a video on Hitscan. And it's a very good one to go and watch. Just search on exclusive ace and Hitscan and it'll take you right to it. I didn't go into all the detail, but the essentials are exactly the same with the hit scan calculation. So take your bullet velocity. If it's 600 meters per second, divide that by 10, that would be 100 milliseconds, right? So that would be 60 meters. And half of that, which is the hit scan range, is how far the bullet travels in 50 milliseconds. So the hit scan range would be 30 meters. So if your engagements are going to be 30 meters or inside, it just does you absolutely no good at all to add any attachment, any ammunition that increases the bullet velocity. Obviously, 2,000 meters per second on these maps is a 100% waste of attachments. But the paracord and the jack cutthroat are not. And this weapon will gack a cat. Grandpa's taking a rest there, pulling out the Renetti, giving some love taps until somebody sticks his foot. Oh, what's she doing? cat's going down for a nap. I swear this cat, this particular cat's got a lot more nine lives because Grandpa, there's another gack. Grandpa's gacked that cat more than nine times. I can guarantee you that. I expected it to disappear off the map. So if you have any questions on hit scan, 
I know that uh, Grandpa Newbie, there's the cat again, community, it, very knowledgeable. We have some very knowledgeable people that play, especially on the stream. So we've had a pro player have an Activision employee that worked on Black Ops 6. There's a cat just laying there. I think she turned around and gacked me. Average terrorist taking a beating. We're up by more than 100 now. Grandpa is happy, so happy he'll throw out a welcome mat, series of them for the enemy. I found that I could outperform, my trigger figure could outperform the ability to fire. So at roughly 300 rounds a minute, we're talking, what, five rounds a second. So it's going to be a little more than five rounds a second. That's how you can figure out, considering the hit scan, what the time to kill is less than 200 milliseconds on a two-shotter. So thanks for watching. I'm anxious to hear your comments below on hit scan on the MCW 6.8 on bigger maps and where it might help. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace.